What is good guys, Charles from Team COG. Finally got something here in the mail that I want to show you guys that I want to advertise for this company. And then I'm going to do a giveaway with these and kind of we're going to do a discussion, kind of a a review, if you would so say. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So right here, I got a, ma a package from Jim Playmats. So instead of having a knife here, I have a thumbtack because here at Team COG, we like to lose our knives and never find them ever again. So we have... A thumbtack which we're going to use to open this box very carefully it's a very careful procedure and it's very delicate uh, but anyway guys i kickstarted jim's playmats um you maybe you've seen them through like cyber night and stuff like that i decided to kickstart them as well i did i didn't this is not i'm not sponsored by them or anything like that um but i did kickstart their deck boxes i ended up getting two of the deck boxes one for me to keep and one for me to give away. So one of you guys will be the lucky winners. And I uh, will go through here. Wowzers, I opened it up down. So right here, we have the one that we're gonna give away, the Mortifier. Kinda looks like a little, little damage there. But that's okay. As long as the product's not damaged, the box can take all the beans. That's what the box is there for. And then the one that I'm going to keep is this right here dragon blood so this is this is the one i'm keeping so and then of course i think a thank you from jim tech awesome so without further ado get my lucky thumbtack here and open this maybe i'm sorry you guys have to watch this struggle but in the end, it's worth it. There we go. So, oh, goodness. So, here we go. The Jim Deck Tech Dragon Blood. So, uh, we got that. I mean, just look at that. That's just so cool. It's engraved. Right there's the Jim logo. Ah. Already feels really strong, the magnet. Like, I'm trying to pull apart the magnet, it's not working. Um, for most of you who don't know, give me one second. Uh, my other deck box, probably this deck box is going to be rivaling, is my Imperium Duelist deck box. Uh, this is really good. Um, personally, for me, because like I said, this is not, I'm not sponsored, so, and even if I was sponsored, I wouldn't sugarcoat anything. Uh, the size comparison here. They're roughly the same width, but like as you can tell, like the same length. So, but that does that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, but anyway, like Imperium Duels has some pretty strong magnets on theirs too, on both sides. And uh, but yeah, the feel is so like where this is like a weird like leather feel. It, this right, I wouldn't say weird, but this is like a leather feel. This is like a oh gosh, I can't think of the name of it, but it definitely does have a different texture. But let's go ahead and open it up here. And this is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen in my life, to be honest with you. Uh, so, from what I understand through other unboxings and other, um, excuse me, I was just moving the camera, other uh, reviews, is this is place for you to place your mats and everything. Or not your mats, your deck and stuff. So, like, instead of putting it, if you don't have your playmat out, you can fold this out, and then you can put your decks and stuff here until you get your mat out, which is really cool. Um, another important factor is right here we have um, the deck space and another space here. You can almost fit. Well, let's see here. Let me get old faithful out here. I mean, so right here's old faithful. You can fit like an entire, like more than enough room in there. And see, to me, for me personally, I'm not a fan of all the space. I know it sounds crazy, but one of my problems with other deck boxes, like including... Um, I have an old one here that I used for a while. This is a Dex one. Was it had too much space to me for me personally? But like this deck is like if you want to like to me this right here is like a deck that I want to be testing a lot. You put like side deck or like not even side deck but cards you want to test in here, uh, extra deck main deck. You know side deck cards you want to test. But like your uh, main deck goes right here. And like, I mean, still you have all this room and normally in decks like this, like this is the crazy thing. You put your dice in here if you wanted, you could put your dice here, but Jim here, Jim over here went next level 
and decided to give us our own magnified dice box. So, and it's, and you know, it, it sticks, it stays right here. So you have your own dice, you can put dice here, fold it up here, you can have another deck. I bet you could even fit a deck here, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see. We'll do just main and extra. Yeah, like a whole other deck, like a 40 card main and a 15 card extra could fit right here. So like you could fit like three, like essentially three decks in this place if you have like a divider here. So that's like crazy to think you can get all that mileage out of just one deck box and still have space and still have a little compartment like right down here to put your dice in. And then, like I said, guys, like one of the most beautiful parts about this is this right here. Like, I mean, just look at the look at the design on it. Like, that's just beautiful, guys. Like, man. But uh, so, yeah, that's this. And then, like I said, like the space, like the magnet here is pretty strong. Um, like you got to kind of you got to finagle it to get it open. And then it just folds. And then, like, uh, another thing to comprehend here is so this falls over here. This part folds right here. So then your cars are protected from the top. And this folds down here. And like I said, guys, like, even though, like, to me, it seems like there's a little, like, push up there. It's still super strong. Like, you still, like, heck, let's even, let's do this just to prove. Inbox before my cards fly over, all over my room here. All right. So, but I mean, like, seriously, guys, like. And I'm shaking it pretty hard, guys. Why do you guys want to do any good that way? I mean, it's still pretty good. So it's it's going to get a little rough and tough down there, and you're going to be able to uh, do that. Like, I think I'm going to have to test it a little bit more and just, you know, take it to locals, play test around with it, pull deck, you know, just through time. But overall, guys, the deck is beautiful, or the deck box is beautiful. And uh, I would, I'm not going to open the Mortifier one just because I don't want to, I want to keep it sealed, but... Check out like other channels like Cybernite and stuff like that if you want to see that one. And um, but anyway, if you want to win, this is the video for that. Um, once this video drops, we're gonna go ahead and have the uh, community tab all. In. And if you want to win yourself your own Mortifier one right here, uh, go ahead. And all you gotta do is go to that community post, go to the comment section, and type the one deck that you do not want to play, like the deck you hate the most, like the deck that has scarred your Yu-Gi-Oh career that you're going to have PTSD for the rest of your life from it. So, yeah, if you guys want to win this Mortifier Edition Gym Deck Box, Gym Deck Tech Box, please go ahead and do that. And, uh, yeah, guys, this is Charles and Team COG signing out.